Hey, what's up everyone? It's Loza, and we're looking at Keone's Dark Magician deck profile. They want me to roast it, so let's have a look. I'm pretty sure Keone doesn't like Red Eyes Fusion, so uh, let's see what they're cooking up. Okay, hello everyone. This is my first deck profile in quite a while. Um, I'm showing you a Dark Magician deck. It's pretty much pure. I'm not running any branded bullshit or all that oh. cringe shit. No hand traps in here. It's strictly pure Dark Magician. No branded, no ref, no hand traps. Strictly pure. I'm gonna suggest something to you. Get a load of this. I'm gonna have a video talking about this soon, but just look at this. This is pure Dark Magician right here. This is King of Games, the highest level of dual links outside of the big tournaments. 3DM, 1DMG, 2 Rod, 3 Apprentice, and 3 Circle. Like, this goes against all the TCG deck building things because this is actually good. Now, of course, there's a skill that makes all of this deck come together called Battle Chronicle. I'm not going to get into that or how it makes the deck good. I'm going to suggest to Kyoti that you try out some Duel Links if you love pure Dark Magician because not only is it peak in Duel Links, I, I don't know where I was going with that. Just, it is. It's peak. It's basically what you want, I think, before even watching this profile. Uh, I'm making this video mainly for uh, Loza. Uh, he loves doing deck uh, profiles and roasting, so I want you to roast my deck, bro. <laughs> All right. I'm roasting it. So starting off, uh, I know I can't run these, but I'm running them anyways because I'm only playing with my friends. It's, it's strictly casual. So right. I have two Dark Magicians. Oh, that's sick. From uh, Rush Duel. Yo, Rush Duel goes hard. Also, yeah, friends and locals should let you do stuff like this. If anyone at locals has a problem with this, like they're they're a bit of a neckbeard, let's be real. Um, if you can't read what it says, it says uh, Ultimate Wizard in terms of attack and defense, you know, no effect. <laughs> that like is that. so sick. Then I got one DMG. Oh! Um, the only thing different here is that she gains 500 attack for each Dark Magician and all that crap in yeah. your graveyard, but we all just used a uh, standard effect. And then I got one Palladium Oracle Mahad. Okay. One Palladium Oracle oh Mana. Oh my god, we got five bricks off the bat. One to Mice, uh, United Six. Dragon. Two Illusion of Chaos. Oh. Three Magician Souls. Oh, nice rarities. Very okay. nice. Now let's see the rest of the main. One Apprentice. I'll probably never take her out. She comes in clutch sometimes. Yeah. Valid. And uh, I've reduced Magician's Rod from three to two. I've yeah. been kind of tired of seeing, like, two opening hand. Okay, onto the spells. A um, little disclaimer. I put the spells in order of... My favorite spells first, and mainly DM stuff first. So. Mainly DM stuff first. Hey, what happened to Pure? What happened to Pure, my mans? You said no hand trap branded anything. Now you're talking about non-DM cards? Bit sussy, bit sussy. All right, let's see it. So, Dark Magic Circle. One, nice. Magician Salvation. One, nice. Good rarity. Three, Soul Ooh. Servant. Card good. I mean, in a build where you're playing all the bricks, you're probably going to max on Soul Servant. Also, the secret Soul Servant is beautiful. I need to get me some of those. Oh, one second. I need to get me secret uh, Soul Servants. I just have the... Whatever the originals are, Ultras, they look horrible. I really need to get these. Spells and traps bad. Nothing good to search for it yet. Okay. Uh, one bond between all teacher right. and student. And Dark Burning Magic. Never taken these out of my deck. It's just kind of cool. In pure like anime character. <laughs> um, Secrets of Dark Magic. It's a card, right? One it's good. Be better. Um, running three preps. Oh damn! Preparation H is what I call the IRL with my friend. Then I got two Forbidden Droplet. Right. One Magicalized Fusion. One Terraforming. I wish I could have had Court of Century, but I'm not spending, uh... You already know. Secret Village with a Spellcaster. Got two of those. Okay. One of the Upstarts. Great Chicken Game. One of the Monster Reborns. Okay. Now onto the traps. What? Not that many. Alright, cut up stuff for chicken game and like you're even playing the terraforming field spell package. You'll thank me later. Also, card sucks. Also, Loza, do you know this? If this goes banished face down or back into your deck, you do not lose your monsters. That's correct. If you can, message me in the comments and tell me if you knew that. 
Uh, I did. Magician's Wanted combination cool. kind of sucks, but I can come in clutch once you start having your grave filled with uh, DMG. Usually you want to dump her in there. Just coming back to Eternal Soul, a lot of the time when, when IP into Unicorn was very popular, aka ever since IP came out, and everyone would go, you know, IP, Unicorn, spin your card. So many times would they, I'd flip Eternal Soul and they'd spin Eternal Soul and then be like, okay, pop your field. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Read card. I'm like, card is in my deck. How's it going to activate, buddy? <laughs> as quick as possible. If only there was a way to put her in the grave really fast or if she was actually useful. Um, Song Judgment. One. Got okay, two. Three of three. those. Okay, cool. Makes right. sense. And then last but not least, I got two Solemn Strikes. Oh wow! And that's gonna finish the deck. The main this deck itself. Some old school DM. I uh, think it's pretty solid. Um, I don't play competitive or anything like that. My friend and I just play strictly just casual. Uh, Alright. What else can I say about it? I don't like hand traps it's in my Dark Magician deck. It just, I, I don't just don't like, I just rather see DM stuff and nothing else. Now onto the extra deck. Uh, okay, I understand. I understand the opinion of like hand trap bad. Stopping my opponent from playing bad, um, you know, unfun interaction from hand bad. But aren't the Solemn cards just an old fashioned version of hand traps? Like, obviously, they're actual traps. But it, the Solemn cards just did that before hand traps existed, right? Everyone just played the Solemn cards. Like, technically, I get what you're saying, but you, like, you're just a Yugi boomer. Like,. If you took the mentality of playing the Solemn Judgments and Solemn Strikes and applied it to like, whoa, you know, playing Strike is kind of like playing Effect Veiler or playing, you know, Strike's kind of like playing Imperm sometimes. It, obviously, Strike and Solemn Judgment are way stronger, but only going first. I don't know. I don't know, man. I was full thinking you just had 40 cards of pure DM at that point because you're like, I don't play anything else. But, um, like, fair enough. Say the Solemns are more balanced because you have to set them first, as opposed to hand traps, but the Solemns are also stronger. But, yeah, I don't know. I, too, have had the, the mindset of hand trap bad. But when you think about it, they're just Solemn cards that got updated. They're a little weaker, but they're a bit more generic. And the whole point of them is so you don't just die going first, or second. Because you'll notice with a deck like Dark Magician, especially the way you've built it, you've built pure. What are you doing going second? Even in your casual format against your friend, who's probably playing Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes can set up like, you know, a bunch of rank 8s on turn 1. And what are you going to do? Activate freaking Circle and hope that Souls resolves? That's pretty much it. Because, tell you what, without Droplet, and only 2 of Droplet at that, the rest of the deck isn't really doing a lot. And as you mentioned, you don't play competitive, so like pretty much anything I say is irrelevant and redundant anyway. But, you know, you mentioned you don't like hand traps, but my guy, if you versed, if you went into a normal TCG tournament and you versed someone playing Gimmick Puppet FTK, you would die because, um, well, hand traps, they stop you from dying to the Gimmick Puppet FTK. And, well, the Gimmick Puppet FTK takes your life points away and all the Solemn cards take your life points away. So... Uh, once again, moot point, because you're not playing in the real format, but I don't know, I think it's interesting, because you like, roast my deck, so I, I don't know, I kind of have to think of it from that perspective too. I feel like in the casual environment though, this deck would be pretty good. You'd probably have a couple of hands that are unplayable though, because you know, if there's so many cards in this deck, pure, they just don't do anything. Like you could open up a hand that's like, you know, a bunch of the OG bricks from the start, along with like Bond, and then like, what do you do, right? The, the Bond pieces. Wait a second. Let's get back to Bond. You were playing Dark Burning, right? Yeah, okay, you were playing Dark Burning, good. You could open up, like, Dark Burning, Soul Servant, DM, Mahal, and, like, yeah, you're just like, cool, what a, what a hand, and Solemn cards. And that's the other thing. You'll have games where you open up a bunch of the Solemns and then, like, DM, and you're like, well, great. <laughs> I mean, that's just the deck's issue as a whole, and I actually have something to fix that exact hand. But um, I'm saving that for a new video I'm working on. Um, Untitled Loza Project. How to fix DM 101. Um, anyway. I'm keen to see the extra deck because you've been very pure so far. I've moved my camera conveniently to cover up stuff you guys don't need to see. DMG collection sleeves and each extra deck card is a different- DMG collection sleeves. That's all you gotta know. There's there's too much stuff on the screen for me to, for me to publish this. <laughs> sleeve so starting off 
I have Artemis. Yep. Okay. I'm good. And then I have I'm Duck. <laughs> I'm. <f> <laughs> he is Duck. Relinquished Anima. I'm good. Doc. The Doc Chama. God good. Black Lust of Soldier. Soldier of Chaos. God good. Selene. God good. Access Code Talker. God good. We For a casual extra deck, this is really good so far. Like, most casual extra decks are like, I play the Dark Magicians at 3 because it's da a Dark Magician deck. Fucking do. I got Big Eye. Eye that is big. <laughs> Red Eye. Red Eye is Black Flare Metal Dragon. Card's kind of spicy sometimes. I like it. You know, burning. Win in, wait, I was, I was going to say, haha, win in time. Why are you playing Flare Metal with your friends? Why are you playing Flare? Are you a psycho? Do you hate your friends? What, you want to smack your friend with two Dark Magician direct attacks and overlay into Flare Metal in casuals? My god. You're a menace. Like, doing that in comp is fair play, and like, go and you sit there like, <laughs> you have two plays to make before you burn to death. Against your friend, they're probably gonna flip the table, no? But uh, that's pretty funny, I like I like it, it's cool. Not the diffusions, Quintet Magician. Yeah, you're playing- I never bring them out, but when I do, it's pretty good. You're playing Magical Eyes, so it makes sense. Warm up the field and such. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Cool. Love the interaction with him and Circle. I mean, um, well, yeah, Circle and Eternal Soul. Master of Chaos. Probably one of the better fusions. The Dark Magicians. Why are you so bad? Because why? Back. Why could you be better? Why? And then to finish it off, two red eyes, Dark Dragoon. Oh, yeah. And I know I'm not running Ref in here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Ref. Not because it's a red eyes card. I just. I want to special summon more in my turn. If Anaconda was back, I would run it. But we all know what will happen if Anaconda comes, uh, comes back. Rip but yeah, Anaconda. that's the deck profile. Um, feel free to roast, critique. All right. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. What is it to roast? Um, the, the deck is pretty good. Like, it's one of the better pure decks for, like, casual play. Like, in competitive, yeah, you, you're going to get absolutely rolled. Like... Your opponent normal summons Snake Eyes Ash, and you're playing second with this deck. Where interaction? <laughs> Your opponent sets up full Snake Eyes board, and you go, don't worry, I got Solemn Strike for uh, when it's finally my turn. But, you know, that's, um, that's going to happen. It's just so many cards in this deck only do something going first. So I imagine when you're playing casually with your friends, if you go first, you win. If you go second, well, you kind of eat the dirt. But um, I, I don't know. That, that's pretty fine, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, because, like, it's hard to assess a deck that's not made for competitive. But this is one of the better ones. The extra deck was clean. That's one of the best extra decks. I can't talk this. One of the best extra decks I've seen in the Dark Magician list. The yellow, yet alone, like, a casual list, you know? I've I seen some shocking TCG, Master Duel, and OCG extra deck lists. That one was solid. You can see every card had a purpose, could be summoned, could you could see it coming up every couple of duels, like, it actually seemed really good. Main deck, yeah, look, there was a lot of stuff you like in there, that's cool. Ultimately, you want to play for fun, so you got a lot of fun stuff in there, and that's cool. But I would say, have a try of swapping the Solemn cards for other stuff. I know they're all cool and fun, but they don't do anything going second. I would say put some more going second in. Evenly matched is a fantastic card to slot in. And you might think, well, then it's bad going first. And that's very true. You can at least minimal, like a worst case, you can send it with Magician Souls for draws. Worst case scenario, or be best case of the worst case scenario, I suppose. Um, Super Poly, also a great addition. Obviously takes up extra deck slots, which sucks. And it obviously depends, like, if you're versing the same friends, then Super Poly is kind of a dick move, because, you know, you know what they're playing. So, I don't know, Evenly Match is probably kind of like playing Droplet with Evenly is really good, because you've got a nice variety, right? You can go Evenly Matched, and hell, you can even chain Droplet sending Evenly, it, it doesn't really matter. It's just if your opponent negates the Evenly, right? It's, it's kind of interesting like that. But, um, 
yeah, I don't know. Droplet and Evenly together is a nice combo. You could also try Dark Ruler no more. Um, but I feel like in a format with friends, you probably don't need Dark Ruler. You probably just get away with Droplet and Evenly. Evenly should be fairly cheap now too. That would be my biggest suggestion. Don't play the Solemns. Or maybe just play one of them. Like, just play... I think Strike's better going second than Judgment. Judgment's obviously very, very good. Judgment with Dragoon can almost end game because two Omni Negates is very strong. But... Like, Strike with a Floodgate is really good going second, right? If you flip up Skill Drain going second, like, as in, your opponent built their board, you set Skill Drain, Strike, and Pass, because obviously you don't want to play yet. Your opponent goes to start playing, and you go, Skill Drain, and they go, oh, negate it with one of their Omni Negates, and you just go, Strike. They can't respond to Strike. It's a freaking quick play. Oh, quick play. It's a counter trap. And then from there, you just kind of win. This is normally better with stuff like there can only be one, goes in rivalry, because it means they have to send the rest of their board to the grave. So I guess uh, Skill Drain was a terrible example, but you get what I mean. If you play a Floodgate, that's not Summon Limit, just an OG Floodgate, goes in rivalry, Skill Drain. Well, not so much Skill Drain, but anyway. There can only be one, rivalry, goes in. Play that alongside Strike. Suddenly, Strike has value going second. That is huge. That is phenomenal for a deck that wants to go first but obviously struggles with second especially since you're keeping the identity of like i want to play strike instead of hand traps i want to play um you might not want to play floodgates but who cares in this scenario you have to play them right we're playing a, a pretty bad deck so floodgates are okay um you're already playing village too so you can't say you hate floodgates right i would say cut village to one as well you got terraforming and village is obviously only good going first so even with Terraforming Village, there's still enough copies of Village, I think, going first to see it. Like, obviously, 3 is more optimal, but um, you just, you, you're just happy to not have Village 2, and you'd rather not brick on Village, right? If you open Terraforming Village, you're like, oh, I can go get Salvation, I can go get Chicken Game. Also, cut the upstart for Chicken Game. Um, if you open, um, you know, Village and Village, you're like, oh, what do I do with this? <laughs> this is ass. So... This is more of a deck building, like, I'm being very picky here, because there's not a lot to assess, really. A lot of it's good, so I'm just being picky. Um, but, like, deck building stuff, that's something I would look into, right? Cutting one village, probably cutting the judgments, and playing floodgates, and maybe, or evenly, and or evenly, that's up to you. You could, you probably do one or the other, though. Yeah, I think. I think. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Try try it out though. Those cards can be expensive though, so maybe test them online first if you don't if you don't like them. Sorry, but, but uh, that's gonna be the end of me. I need to stop talking. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out Kioni's channel too because they seem to have some cool DM content too. I'm gonna hit it with a, a like and subscribe myself. I'm gonna get in bed. Oh. I apologize. I need to go to sleep. My. <laughs>